our objective in this video is to get you to be able to record yourself, your voice, over your screen, whether it's a website or a slideshow or a PowerPoint, whatever it is that you want to present. You're creating your own video right now. So here are the six tools, the six things that we are going to make sure to cover. I'm going to make sure that you guys have the correct web extension for Screencastify. We're going to show you how to record the tools that you're going to be using when you are recording. I'm going to show you how to stop the video, save the video, and then the different ways you can distribute that video to your students or to your audience. So if you don't already have Screencastify, you can see at the top of my screen, I already have Screencastify. It is a free video recorder. It is a Google extension. If you don't have it, you're going to go to the apps section of your Google Chrome page, and you're going to go to the web store. And then you're just going to type in Screencastify. It's going to pop up. You'll see it looks like this. If you click on it, it should say that you can add it here. What you're going to notice is that there's over 8 million users. Why? Because this thing works, and that's what's great about it. So we're going to get into it. Once you add it, you should see the icon pop up for you. Now I'm going to go to my actual presentation. Once I'm on my presentation, I'm going to go ahead and go up to the Screencastify icon and click on it. And what it's going to show us, it's going to show us a couple different things. The first thing is, is that with the limited version, you only have five minutes per video. I'm going to give you a code so that for the next, I think, 30 days, you're going to be able to have the unlimited version. So if you need to go past five minutes, you're going to be able to do that. Just follow those directions to type that code in. I'll put it in the description in the video. Now here are our options. We can record a browser tab, our whole desktop, our webcam only. You can see that I already have a microphone on for this video and if I have a list of different microphones they'll show up here. And then off to the right you can see that my microphone is working because well you can see the green to yellow to red when I go real high it'll move and jump. The other thing that you can do is you can record your desktop and you can also embed your webcam. So if you want your audience to see your face, you could hit this toggle right here. I'm going to leave that off. After that, all you have to do is hit record. And we're going to be recording now. Once we choose our window and hit share, you'll hear a couple noises pop up. It's going to do a countdown from three. And now we are live with our video. So there's a couple different ways that I like to present. Right now, our students are seeing our entire screen. If you want to hit present, you can. And then you can start going through your slides one by one. The problem with this is, is that the tools that they give you with Screencastify, they kind of go away. Um, they're kind of tough to see. I, for whatever reason, when I try to click to get them, they don't like to come up. I have to kind of click off of the video and then click back and then they are here. That's just one obstacle we've got to get over. But then you're going to see many different options here. So at the bottom row of our options, I'm going to start with the pause recording. It's self-explanatory. If you pause it, you are stopping your recording. So if you need to pause, pause it. Just make sure you turn it back on when you want to record. Next is the pointer piece. You have three different options for your mouse pointer. And if they are dark gray, that means it's off. If they're light gray, it means it's on. So I'm going to turn them all off to start. and You can see my pointer on the screen. And then one by one, I'm going to turn them on. First of all is focus mouse. So as I move my mouse, you can see that I have this spotlight that goes along with it. If I turn on the cursor when it's not moved, so I'm going to turn that one on along with focus. If I stop my mouse, you'll see my cursor goes away, but the spotlight stays. And then the third one, and you can keep them all on at the same time, is that it will highlight your click. So if I click, you should see a red circle when I click. Let's see if it does it. There it is. So it clicked, made this nice and big once again as I'm kind of on full screen. That issue of having a full screen and presenting at the same time, it's kind of tough. I personally like to keep the presentation so that the slides on the left are still there and then I can still present for my students, but it's your preference. You can hide your toolbars if you want to and make this a little bit bigger. 
I'm going to turn off all of these and I'm going to go on to the pen tool. The pen tool is great. You've got a lot of different color options that you can just use and slide. And then what you can do is you can annotate what it is that you're doing on your presentation. If you have a stylus for this, that's going to be key. It's going to give you a lot more control in what it is that you're drawing. And then you can erase little things. So if you have the eraser and just want to erase one thing, that's great. If not, above the eraser tool, you have this checkbox and it says wipe the screen clear. So if you do a bunch of annotation and then you just want everything to be gone, you click it and everything is gone. So that's a great feature. And then last, it's just hide your tools. So we can click and get rid of them completely. It also gives the shortcut if you hold down the Alt key along with the T, that is going to be where you can hide your tools. So if you want to pop them back up nice and easy, that's one way to do it. So just different options. That's what you have as you present to your students. And then once you're done with your screen recording, you can go up to the icon that we had before where our add-on is and just hit stop. And then you don't have to worry about if you don't want your students to see that at the end because you can trim it. So you can pull your scissors in here and it will trim the beginning or the end of the presentation for you. You have a lot of different options of how to share it. So you can copy a shareable link, we can make it public, we can make it unlisted, we can make it private. Um, really what I would focus in on is the sharing piece. You can share it right to your classroom, publish it to YouTube, get an embed code if you want to put it into a website or a Google site. Um, you can also download what it is that you have to your computer. So you can download it, export it as an MP4 so that you're able to send it through email possibly. Um, another big one that's really great is we're getting a lot of questions about just recording audio and being able to send that. And this is one way that you can do that as well. Once you have this finished, if I want to share it to my classroom, I'm going to click share classroom. This is the way most teachers may do it. And I'm going to pick my class. I'm going to create it as an assignment or make an announcement or just create material for it. In this case, it's just material. I'm going to hit go and then you can go ahead and title it however you want. Once it's titled, just like you would a normal post, you're able to post it into your classroom and you're finished. Students automatically are able to see it. 